Hi, welcome to Why the Book Wins. Today is another book haul, book collection video. And I had actually intended on doing this as a book unboxing. And so I was like, you know, all the books I buy within the next month, which I always buy my books online, like very rarely. I don't think I've ever bought one in person, at least not lately. Anyway, so I was like, you know, whatever books I buy, I'll hold on to them and I won't open them. I will keep them in their boxes. And then once I have enough for an unboxing, I will open them on camera. But guess what? <laughs> I did not have the willpower to not open my boxes when they arrived. <laughs> so I hope you will forgive me, but I I didn't have the self-control. It's just so exciting, especially, you know, you already order a book and then you have to wait a whole week or more for it to arrive. So once it arrives, I don't know, I just couldn't wait. I was too excited. You know, a story from my childhood, which I don't remember this. I think I was like three or something. My mom tells a story about how on Christmas Eve or something, it was before Christmas Day, the presents were under the tree and I was so excited. I opened all the presents, whether they were for me or not. Not that I, you know, haven't grown up since then. I do have more self-control now, but yeah, I just couldn't wait. I was way too excited. So this is not an unboxing. It is just showing you the books I have recently bought. And there are some that I'm just so, so excited about. One of them is Folio Society, which my Folio Society video has done really well. And I just love Folio Society. So I will, once I have a few more newer Folio Society books, I will do another video dedicated to Folio Society once again, as well as Easton Press. My Easton Press video has done really well too. So anyway, so I have two amazing editions. I'm so excited. I'm going to save them for last, but these other ones are awesome too. And I'm going to start with my serialized editions of The Green Mile. So these came out in 97, I believe. So actually 96 is when these were published. And Stephen King, uh, I read this in 2019. So my memory of the foreword is like someone, maybe his editor or someone, gave him the idea to write a serialized novel the way they did back in the day. Like Charles Dickens, so many of his books were serialized. And that's partly why they're so long is because they were released like once a week or once a month, I think. Every month he would release a new edition to David Copperfield. And so people looked forward to it every month and they would read the newest edition. And so King decided to do one himself and he wrote The Green Mile as a serialized novel. And so these are how they were released at the time. And I have all six of them. And like I said, these are from 1996. So they weren't expensive and they're not, I mean, yeah, maybe they're not valuable, but I think this is awesome to have the original serialized editions. So I was so happy to find these on eBay for a really cheap price. And something I love about these, because if you've seen my videos, you know I love illustrations, especially if they're detailed illustrations. And at the beginning of each book, there is a detailed illustration. And I will show you some others. So there you go. Those are the illustrations and they're just so beautiful. And yeah, like I said, I read this book in 2019. So at the time I didn't have my book first movie podcast or YouTube channel. And so I have not, I don't like officially have that coverage, but I did love this book. And so I probably will read it again at some point and do an official book first movie comparison for it. But it's a great book. It's about a man, a black man who is falsely accused of murdering two girls. And then the prison guard is played by Tom Hanks in the movie. I don't remember his name in the books, but so it's about his relationship with these men on death row and with this new man who has been falsely accused of murder. And he happens to have some supernatural powers. So yeah, highly recommend. And it's not scary. Like, there's like unsettling things that happen, I guess, but it's not scary at all. It's not gonna give you nightmares. So yeah, highly recommend. And in general, I'm wanting to just increase my King collection and my King reading. I'm currently in the middle of 11.22.63, which by the time this video comes out, I'm filming it as a reading vlog, but by the time this video comes out, I don't think the video vlog will be out. But anyway, you can stay tuned for that one for 11.22.63. So very excited about the serialized edition of The Green Mile. And I don't see myself buying, 
you know, the regular edition of this that was released later. I, I'm happy with just having these. Next up, this is the Spanish edition of The Double by Jose Saramago. Jose Saramago is actually Portuguese. And so this is the first Spanish edition, which came out in 2003. The first Portuguese edition was 2002. And so initially I was like, I'll just get the first Spanish edition because it's close enough, right? <laughs> and it has a cooler cover. The Portuguese edition is very bland. Like it's literally just the title and that's it. However, I still want to buy the Portuguese edition. So at some point I will be buying that as well. But for now I have the Spanish edition, which is cool. And no, I do not speak Spanish. <laughs> However, with this one, I read it on my Kindle and I bought it. And so I have it on my Kindle. If I ever want to read it again, I will be reading it on my Kindle because even if they're a lightweight paperback, I always prefer reading on my Kindle versus reading a physical book. It's just my personal preference. And I love owning first editions. And since the first editions are in Spanish, that's what I want to own, <laughs> whether I can read it or not. And so, so yeah, so this is the first Spain edition. And then I will buy the Portugal edition as well. So I will have the two of them. And this was an amazing book. It's called The Duplicate in English. Highly, highly recommend. My book first movie comparison for this will be out the end of February. And it is a mind bender for sure. And since making that video, I also, I'm happy with the analysis I did in that video of what I think this book means. But there are, there's like one element I forgot to mention in that video that I think is very symbolic, but I don't know, maybe I'll mention it in the comments when that video goes live. So yeah, once I buy the Portuguese edition, I will have two editions of this book, which will be awesome. Also, I've noticed with like my copy of The Beach is paperback, the UK edition, but the paperback is like a thicker paperback. And this is paperback and yet it still has a dust jacket. So that's pretty interesting and unique. And yeah, really happy to have this. And also just quick rundown on this story. It's about a man who finds he has a someone who is his double, his duplicate, his exact identical. And some crazy things happen with both parties involved with having someone who looks exactly like you. So yeah, it was a fascinating book and highly recommend. And if you've read this, I would love to know your thoughts on it because I don't know if my thoughts on it are accurate, but again, I think there's so many different interpretations of it. So I don't know if there's a wrong idea on it. I don't know. Anyway, highly recommend and I'm happy to own this, this Spanish first edition. Next up is another Stephen King first edition and that is 112263, which I just mentioned. This one is from 2011. So buying a first edition was not expensive or hard to find, but I definitely wanted to own it because I'm currently like 65% of the way through and I'm loving it. And even if I don't end up liking the last 40% of the book, I still want to own it because this is so big and I want to document the fact that I read a book that is this long. So yeah, it is 850 pages. And yeah, it's not scary at all, kind of like Green Mile. But Green, this one is like even less scary. And it's just about a guy who time travels to 1958 to stop the Kennedy assassination, obviously, which happens in 1963. And so, you know, he gets there in 1958, so he has some time to, you know, to kill. And so it's just about his life living back then. And I haven't finished it yet, as I said, but I'm really enjoying it. And it's got a lot of... I don't know, Stephen King, his writing definitely changed through the years, which is understandable. You know, I read The Shining, which is from 1977, and that was the most recent one. So going from that to reading this, one that is so newer, his voice and style has definitely changed. But it, that's not a bad thing. Like, I'm still loving this one. It's just very different. And the story is also completely different as well. So anyway, really enjoying this and happy to have the physical cover. And again, like... No way I would actually read this physical book. Like this is so heavy. Can you imagine like having to hold this and read this? That is just so uncomfortable. <laughs> so one of the many reasons why I love reading on an e-reader or a Kindle, like I said, even when it's a paperback, I still just the Kindle, they're awesome. Can't recommend it enough. Anyway, my first edition copy of 112263. Okay, next up is a book that I am so excited about. My book first movie comparison for this came out um, earlier in February. And I saw this limited edition copy for sale in January and it was selling for like $300, I think. But I got this on eBay for a steal. 
it was nine, like it was under a hundred dollars. So I could not resist buying it, but it is cold mountain limited edition. And it comes in at the book slip, which I love. And there were, you know, you could get like the first edition copy of this book. And before coming across this one, I thought of that, but I don't know, they even had, they had signed first editions, but they were just so like run of the mill looking, I guess. And I don't know, I just kept holding off on buying those. And I'm so glad I did because then I found this one and it has, you know, like the cool texture, as you can see there, it has the gold on the top, but not the rest of it. And these things, man, I just found out what these are called. It's something with a D, I think some kind of like deckled edges or something. Anyway, I don't like it when the paper is uneven like that, but you know, it's not terrible. It has a cool map in the beginning and the end. And then here we have this page. So signed, limited edition, only 500 copies of these in the world. And I have, what was it? Like copy number 436, <laughs> signed by Charles Frazier. So man, yeah, I am so happy to own this book. And the fact that I got it for a good price, it's just so beautiful and so much more interesting and unique than just the normal first edition copies. And this book also like was a bestseller. And so it had so many reprint reprints of that first edition. And so, you know, the very first printing of that first edition might be hard to come by but the look of it looks like all the other editions, which they had a billion reprints of. And I mean, I have other books that are like that, but for this one, I am glad to have gotten one that is so unique, a limited edition, and it's so beautiful. And the story itself I love. So it's a retelling of the Odyssey, but it takes place in Civil War times about a man who is a deserter of the Civil War and he makes his way back home to a woman he's in love with, even though they don't know each other very well. And we go back and forth between what's happening with him on his journey home, as well as what's happening with her while she keeps her farm alive with the help of a woman named Rose. And yeah, like I said, my book first movie comparison for this one is out. So I will link to that. And yeah, highly recommend this book. And I am so happy I have this edition. And the last book in this video is one that is so exciting. I like, I'm so excited about that Cold Mountain edition, but I'm also so excited about this next one I'm about to show you. I don't know, like the Cold Mountain one can be one that's hard to come by too, but this next one is also one that's hard to come by and it is a Folio Society edition. And actually, if you have seen my book collection book tag video, which uh, depending on when I post this, I think the eBay gift card giveaway part of it will be over. However, you should still check the video out because I think it's good and I talk about my book collection and if you're a YouTuber, you know, even if the giveaway isn't happening, you can still answer the questions yourself, obviously, as a book tag. Anyway, I mentioned this book in that video because it is one that I missed out on buying on eBay. And then after I missed out, after I like held off on buying it, someone else bought it and then I didn't find it for months. And then it came available again. And also in my January book wrap up, I talk about how I lost my bid for the first edition copy of Power of the Dog, which I'm still so sad about because I want that first edition so bad. <laughs> but because I missed out on that bid, I decided I came across this one. And so I was like, well, I'm not spending money on Power of the Dog anymore. So I guess I will buy this one. So it all kind of worked out. But that book is the Folio Society edition of Beloved, which is so beautiful. Like, look at that cover. Uh, I love it so much. Got the side right there. And the illustrations are amazing. So here is one. Here is another. And another one. And yeah, there's more in here, but they're so beautiful. And this book is hard to come by the Folio Society edition. And oh man, I love that cover so much. I love how it's shiny like that. And I love this book. It is incredible. Yes, it's intense. Yes, it's a heavy read, but it, it's also hard. Like the beginning of it can be hard to get into the flow of Morrison's writing style, but love it. Highly recommend. And I don't have, I have the Easton Press edition actually of this. I don't have the first edition. Again, it's one of those where the first edition just doesn't excite me. It's just kind of boring looking, 
But now I have it in Folio Society and Easton Press. So I don't know. I'm happy with those two editions. I don't know if I'll feel the need to buy another copy of this book because Folio Society and Easton Press is, is, you know, that's pretty awesome right there. Anyway, so, so excited about having this book. And it's about a woman who is a slave and she has children and they, she runs away. And during that time, the Civil War happens. And so we go back and forth in time between her time on this plantation, along with this other man who meets up with her years down the road, and they're looking back on their time on this plantation, and then so much other stuff happens in between, and it's about dealing with trauma is a big part, and lots of symbolism, and it's beautifully written, and highly recommend. I have a book breast movie comparison for this, where I talk more in depth analyzing the book. Even though that one is a book first movie comparison, I do talk more about the book, and yeah, just analyzing it, I guess. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And that wraps it up for today's books. So I'm actually expecting a few more in the mail, two of which are vintage copies over 100 years old that I'm so excited about. So once those arrive, as well as, um, I think I have like four more books total arriving. And once those four arrive, I will do another book collection video. So hopefully next week or the week after that, they will have arrived in time for me to post that video. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you were interested and books <laughs> and book first movie comparisons because those my book collection and my book first movie comparisons are like the biggest things I do here. So if that interests you, you should definitely subscribe and like this video and I will see you next time.